My name is Mark Lipson. I'm a faculty member at the Darden Business School at the University of Virginia. I teach in the core finance program and I'm also the course head in the core finance program which means I am responsible for designing the curriculum of that program. So let me talk to you a little more about the first module, the financial analysis and planning module. That module is designed around three cases. Now the challenge always when you're teaching finance material is the staging of the learning process for students, particularly when you have a wide range of students in the classroom. So we have to be very careful about the steps. Now these three cases basically move in very important steps. The first case in the sequence is the Monsanto case. In that case we ask the students to just forecast the asset side of the firm, the operations, income statement, and the asset side of the balance sheet including operating liabilities. The focus here is just on the fact that we have to deal with uncertainty through creating forecasts. The Monsanto case is set relatively recently. The issues here are the uncertainty in the economy generate a tremendous degree of uncertainty about their sales. So that first case then establishes the, the basic fundamental forecasting tool set. In the second case in that sequence, Alliance Concrete. This is probably the most important case in the module. In this case, we have a concrete company that has competing demands for its cash flow. The students have to generate a complete financial forecast. This means asset side as well as the liabilities. The themes that are developed in the Alliance Concrete case, again, are the most important themes in this module. The first one is separation. We focus on the fact that the operating decisions are vital and important to the firm doing what it does, and the financing decisions then facilitate that. Now in that case, the company is faced with a choice between making necessary capital improvements, between paying a dividend to a parent company, and between paying cash back to the bank as a scheduled repayment to the bank. So the challenge the students have to have, are faced with in that case is how to choose among these three competing demands on cash. Again, the theme of the separation of operations and financing becomes very important. At the same time, that case allows us to set the stage for cash flow discussions, and in some cases, particularly in our exec ed program, we use that to set up the concept of free cash flow. So that's the second case. The third case then in this takes a multi-period look at the capital raising aspects of a firm. This case is Panera Bread Company. Now, until the time, again fairly recently, Panera Bread Company was financed without any debt. At this point, looking forward, the company is growing and they're going to need to access capital markets. This is developed then in a multi-period financial forecast. So we do the same exercise, again, as an Alliance Concrete, developing a full financial forecast, which means the integration of the financing side with the operation side. And they do this over multiple periods. What they see, as you expect, is a large need for, ca for cash flow, a need for outside financing as they grow forward. Margins are tightening. They can't generate enough cash internally, so they have to go to the outside markets. Now, this is an important case because through this case, we then set up the next module, the second module in the finance core, which is capital raising. So we establish there that there is a need to access the capital markets, and we use that case as a chance to introduce broadly the questions of do you want to have equity financing, do you want to have debt financing.